dear friends today we are seeing about the definition of the integral let f be a function which is defined on closed interval ab we say that f has an integral or f is an integrable function if upper and lower sums for f can be found which are arbitrarily close together we are defining a number capital i such that lower sum l less than or equal to i less than or equal to u the upper sum for all lower sums l and for all upper sums u then this number i is called the integral of f it is denoted by capital i is equal to integral e to b f of x dx we call the sign integral a b the end points or limits of integration f is called the integrand the precise meaning of arbitrarily close together what is that here what we want to understand is that if there are sequences sequence ln and sequence un as lower and upper sum sequences such that the limit value of un minus ln when n tends to infinity equal to 0 it means un and ln are arbitrarily close the difference between un and ln when n tends to infinity is 0 that is un is approximately equal to ln that's the meaning of arbitrarily close now we are going for a precise definition of integral as below let us see the definition in the next slide definition given a function f on closed interval ab the integral of f if it exists is the number which is denoted by integral a to b f of x dx which separates the upper and lower sums and this number is the sign area of the region between the graph of f and x axis the above definition implies there are functions which are not integrable that is some cases is limit does not exist hence it may be reassuring to know the following fact whose proof is given in more advanced courses now we are going for a theorem when will the integral exist or what's the relation between continuity and the function having an integral the theorem is known as existence theorem if f is continuous on closed interval ab then it has an integral that is if there is a continuous function it is sure that there is an integral in particular all differentiable functions have integrals means differentiable function means the function which could be differentiated that is sin x cos x these are all differentiable functions but so do step functions too and functions whose graph whose functions whose graphs have corners that is y is equal to mod x etc thus the integrability is a more easily satisfied requirement than differentiability or even continuity now the reader can note that however there do some exist some functions some pathological functions that area are not integrable In the next slide let us now interpret the integral in terms of distance velocity problem suppose that v velocity equals f of t which is defined for a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b gives the velocity of a moving bus as a function of time we saw in our previous work that upper and lower sums for f represent the rep- displacement of vehicles whose velocities are step functions and which are faster or slower than the one we are studying thus the displacement like the integral is sandwiched between the upper and lower sums for velocity of the function and so we have displacement is equal to delta d the formula which we have to study integral a to b f of t dt means you find a lower sum you find an upper sum and the value is in between your sandwiching you know what's a sandwich you have two bread pieces 
or some two bun pieces, then you are attaching some chicken or some which or something inside as a filling. Let like that here also you are finding the lower sum, upper sum in between is the actual value. So, you are saying the value is sandwiched between the upper sum and lower sum, there is something in middle that is the actual value. Now, we are going for a problem for some clearance, problem number 2, let us see. Let f be a function which is defined by f of x equals 2, 1 less than or equal to x less than 4, 5, 4 less than or equal to x less than 7, 1 for 7 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10. First, we will see the a part integral 1 to 10 f of x dy, second is the b part integral 2 to 9 f of x dx. The first one, the integrand of f, the lower limit 1, upper limit 10, it is the equal to the sine area bounded by the graph of f, the x axis and the vertical lines x equals 1 and x equals 10. Since f is a step function with f of x equals 2 for value 1 to 4, f of x equals 5 for value 4 to 7, f of x equals 1 value 7 to 10. The required area in the next slide we can see it is the sum of the areas of the rectangles with height L and width the given widths 4 minus 1 3 height 5 and uh, with the width 7 minus 4 equals 3 with height 1 and height 1 and width last one will be 10 minus 7 equals 3. So, integral 1 to 10 f of x dx you are multiplying the width and the height that is 2 into 3 plus 5 into 3 plus 1 into 3 that is 6 plus 15 21 plus 3 24. Next one the problem we have the integral of f from 2 to 9 it is equal to sin area bounded by the graph of f a x axis and the vertical lines x equals 2 and x equals 9. Since f is step function with f of x equals 2 2 less than or equal to x less than 4 f of x is 5 for 4 to 7 f of x equals 1 for 1 7 to 9. So, the required area is the sum of the uh, sum of the areas of the rectangle with height 2 width 4 minus 2 2 height 5 the next uh, width will be 7 minus 4 3 next one height 1 and width 9 minus 7 2. So, integral 2 to 9 f of x dx becomes 2 into 2 plus 5 into 3 plus 1 into 2 that is 4 plus uh, uh, 35 plus 2 uh, 4 plus 15 plus 2 sorry. So, you will get the final answer to be 15 plus 4 plus 2 is 21. So, here we are able to find the areas when we are integrating the functions. So, this method I hope you learnt how you can find the integrals by means of definite integrals not just ordinary integrating we are making it in a different sense. So, thank you dear students we will meet in the next class till that bye.